Hi, my name is Stefumi Agunfumi. I am a rising junior at MIT and I'm studying material science and engineering. I chose this project because I really wanted to practice my French. Before I decided to come here and intern at IBA, I had a Skype call with Benoit Mack, my supervisor, to answer any questions I might have. I had like lots of questions. The importance of vacuum is simply So before I came to IBA, I had not really a huge uh, coding background, but I learned a lot about uh, coding and medical imaging. So we have a really close collaboration uh, on proton radiography, which will be an important new technology to improve the accuracy of uh, proton therapy. In image processing, in, uh, in physics, and uh, with a lot of application in, uh, in medicine, in cancer treatment. This internship is interesting in that it's a collaboration with UCL and IBA as a company. When I was in Boston, I decided to go to the University of Belgium for two reasons. The first reason is because I wanted to become really bilingual in French. And the second reason is that I wanted to work in the domain of energy. La, la première année, euh, il y avait ben, la construction euh, d'une un, carte électronique. L'année d'après, il y a eu euh, l'analyse des, des photos qui passaient via la carte électronique. Et maintenant, ben, on a la, la donnée au niveau de la consommation d'eau. Et donc, on fait des alertes euh, au niveau des consommations d'eau euh, s'il y a des fuites. C'est plutôt euh, difficile de la de de faire des, des connexions entre l'informatique et le domaine de l'énergie. Mais chez Greenwash, je, je veux faire exactement ça. Um, opportunity to look at a new field and the experience of being in Belgium um, was what really drew me. Here, Michael uh, came. He had to learn about uh, the method, so which takes uh, quite some time to study that, and then he had to uh, study some materials, indium nitride and gallium nitride. The aim was to uh, study compounds that are indium gallium nitride and trying to uh, optimize some uh, properties for photovoltaics application. Um, taking um, my two materials I'm studying um, and running computations on them using resources in the supercomputers um, available to UCL, which is a very, um, very cool thing. I've mainly been working um, in 3D modeling and also some 3D printing, and hopefully in the next couple of weeks work with concrete and casting actual pieces. We are wondering whether it was possible or not to use uh, robots to make uh, automated construction. We have to rethink the shapes of the blocks to assure that when the drone will lift the block with the shape, it will automatically fall exactly at the right place. One of my professors at MIT, Caitlin Mueller, she is an architecture and civil engineering professor and I was in one of her classes with John Oxendorf uh, this past year and that is how I learned about this project and through her contact with Pierre uh, they had started this project together um, with the MIT UCL seed fund For example, for uh, airplanes, uh, the security of peace in airplanes. So that's uh, the relationship between all those fields is very interesting, and to establish uh, this link is kind of uh, very exciting. Uh, and yeah, to get uh, a better uh, security in a whole based on uh, information theory. So the project I'm working on is called Open Badges. And basically, I'm doing data analysis on a data set collected by um, badges but that people wear at their working places. And basically, those badges collect uh, information on how far one person is to other people. And from that, we can infer uh, some things about uh, the, the structure of social networks and how people interact with each other. It was great to work with him. Uh, he really knows what he's doing, even though he thinks that he doesn't. I'm just very interested in research in general and so I was wondering on whether I wanted to do a PhD or go into the industry and I thought that coming here to do research would be just a great experience that would help me make such a decision. I'm working with Professor Vienna 
and we're working on nonlinear optimization algorithm. And it's very exciting because we are we, we're going to be able to solve problems that have not, never been solved before. And finally, this project um, comes in two parts, so numerical simulations and theory, and this is always cool to combine both. So the project I'm working on here at MIT is finding new bounds for the number of approximate mean cuts in a graph. Why MIT? I mean, MIT is always a dream for everyone right in, in technology. Well, I think that this lab in particular is pretty diverse, mm -hmm. uh, but it's always fun to have you know, like new people from different places. It's a, it's a good way to be innovative, to have uh, people from the industry, people from the university, some are seniors, some are, some are juniors, and to have interns without any idea about proton therapy, but with good brains, MIT brains are good brains, uh, it's very valuable for us. A journey. Different. Challenging. Pushing my limits. Significant. Discovery. Inspiring. Going beyond the classroom. Independence.